Hey everybody, Stogie Farts here. Uh, this is actually going to be a video in my Pipe Smoking for Beginners series. Uh, what I wanted to do in this video is sort of an all-in-one, kind of take everything that I've ever kind of shown on that series, put it into one video uh, so it's easy to see. So in this video, I'm going to go through everything from selecting the pipe that I want to smoke, to the tobacco, to how to pack the pipe, how to light the pipe, how to smoke the pipe, uh, what I do when I'm done, uh, and the whole process. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. This is what I do. Okay, so the first thing that I usually do is I try to decide which pipe do I want to smoke. Now, some of you beginners, you might only have one pipe, so that's fine. You won't have this problem. For me, it is a problem because I have a lot of pipes. So, for the purpose of this video, I am probably going to pick one of my smaller pipes just because I want to focus on the entire process and not be outside for three hours. So I think I'm going to choose uh, one of my corn cob pipes for this. And the next thing I do is decide on what kind of tobacco I want. As you can see, I got a bunch of tobacco up there. And uh, usually I'll just go through and kind of look and see what stands out for me and uh, what do you want? Do you want a flake tobacco? Do you want a ribbon tobacco? Uh, it kind of depends on the pipe. Uh, I think I'm going to choose uh, probably some Frogmorton Cellar. This is always a good one and uh, it's going to be a nice smoke. Now comes the fun part, the packing. So what you want to do, uh, I'm just going to use this on top of a, a surface here, but um, you take your tobacco, this is what I do, and I just begin to just push it in there. I'm not even putting any pressure on there. I'm just kind of using my finger and filling it all the way up. Now, I'm, I'm really not even pushing that hard. I'm just make, pushing it so uh, nothing really falls out. And as you can see, uh, it's kind of full right now. But I didn't put any pressure on it. So it's real, uh, you know, it's full of air and whatnot. So now I'm going to give a little bit of pressure. And sometimes what helps is you just keep your finger on there and kind of twist the pipe a little bit while you press down with your finger. Not too hard. You just want to press. And then what you can do, you won't be able to see it, but off camera, uh, I put it in my mouth and I just kind of do a little puff and just see how the draw is. If the draw is too, too tight, uh, that means you've pressed down too hard. You want to kind of start over and, and loosen it up again. But see, once I pressed it down a little bit, um, you may not be able to see it, but I got about uh, a good, you know, quarter of an inch or three, you know, I, I got about three quarters of it in there. So I still have more room. So what I'll do now is top it off with a little more, put it in there, it's starting to come out the top as you can see. So now I'm going to press that down a little bit firmer this time because there's more in there. Give it a twist. That kind of helps seal it in there. And then I will, off camera, I'm going to sit there and do another little draw test. Now it's pretty good. Um, a lot of people, they like to uh, have the consistency when you're sucking on the, the, the stem, uh, almost like you're, you're drinking a soda or, or maybe even like a, you know, maybe like a light milkshake. You know, you want there to be a little resistance, uh, but you, d you do want air to come through your stem. So now that my pipe is packed and uh, loaded up, ready to go, uh, we'll take this outside and begin the lighting process. Alright, so now that we got a pipe and we've packed it with the tobacco that we want to smoke, um, go to your favorite smoking area. For me, it's out here in my backyard. And uh, you need basically two tools. You need a... Uh, I have a pipe tool here, uh, which the only things I really use on this is the tamper and the little poker and a lighter. So that's what I use. Um, and uh, what we're going to do is light it first. So what I do is uh, what's called the charring light. It's the very first light and it's not to start smoking the pipe. It's, it's basically to get it ready to smoke. So uh, you just kind of char the top with your uh, lighter or your match or whatever you use to light it with, magnifying glass, you know, whatever. And uh, so here's what I do. So you can see the pipes going. And it's started to char the top. 
but what you want, but what I then do is you take the tamper and just tamp it down. Not too hard. You're not trying to kill a spider or anything. You're just you're just uh, creating a, a layer on top, like a little charred layer, like a scab. Like if you have an open wound, you know, your body scabs over. Well, you're creating sort of a tobacco scab on top. And that will kind of actually put out the pipe, and usually I'll just leave it like that. Um, but now you do the same thing again. You light it the same way, but this time uh, when it gets going, it gets going, and you can begin uh, puffing away. So here I go for the, the real light. There we go. Mm. Now, this may be a little hard to do uh, talking because normally I don't talk when I'm doing this. But, mm. when you smoke a pipe, uh, what I like to do is it's not a it's not a drinking contest. You're not chugging a beer. You're sipping fine top shelf liquor. And I do it slow. I don't sit there and go like this. Because that's going to get your pipe really hot. It's going to get your mouth hot. Um, you're not really working on breathing or anything like that. All you're doing is just creating smoke and puffing away. What I do is either do slow long slow inhale not inhales but to draw the, 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 the smoke in slowly and slowly exhale hold on like this okay and if you start to see your pipe going out if you're not seeing a lot of smoke then you might give it a little uh, few smaller puffs Now you'll notice I'm also exhaling through my nose. That's called retrohaling. I have a whole separate video on retrohaling. I'll put a link to that uh, here somewhere on the screen. You can click on it. It'll take you right there. Uh, you can watch that and come back to this if you want. Mm. So I tend to do long, slow draws on the pipe and let the smoke just come out. I don't sit there and pfft blow it out uh, you know it's not you know you're not trying to see how far you can blow smoke it's more about enjoying the process mm. now as you're doing this uh, you're gonna start to build up uh, ash on the top of your pipe you can kinda see it building up there and this is where your tamper comes in. Now you might have a pipe tool that looks like this, you might have a stick, you might have a nail, you might use your finger. Doesn't matter. What you want to do is occasionally as you're smoking, just take your pipe tool or your tamper and just kind of press down. Not hard, but you want to compact all that uh, ash uh, into a more compact layer. So. Just like that. Ah, that's good stuff. If you uh, never tried Frog Morton Cellar, I highly recommend it. Um, it's not considered an aromatic by any means, but it's a good, I think it's a great non-aromatic for people that are aromatic smokers because uh, it's not heavy. Damn it. My camera just ran out of space, so I had to delete some more space. Anyway, um, that's how I sort of get up to this point. Now what I like to do is just sit back, kind of do what I told you or what I showed you as far as breathing, slow rhythmic breathing. Pipe starts to go out, get a few, a few quick puffs. And then occasionally tamp it down.
and you will do that the entire process while you sit and smoke your pipe. Um, one thing I should mention is uh, as the ash builds up, I will take my poker tool and just kind of break it up. You just kind of touch the top of it and break it up and then you can dump it out into your ashtray or, you know, your little brother's hair or whatever. Just dump it out, get rid of it, tamp it back down, continue. Now, you don't need to see me sit here and finish this whole thing, so I'm going to cut, finish smoking this pipe, and I will be back uh, very shortly. Hey, I'm back again. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention, I'm probably a little more than halfway done with this, this uh, bowl here, but uh, as you're smoking it, um, the bowl's getting pretty hot in this case. Um, the easy thing, the way that I do, the, the way that I do, the way that I do, the way that I tell uh, if it's too hot is to just do the cheek test. I just put it up to my cheek, and if it's warm enough to leave it on there, you know you're still okay. If you put it on your cheek and it's like, ow, oh, mother effer, uh, then what you want to do is just uh, first take it off your cheek uh, and then stop puffing it for a little bit. Let it cool down. Nothing wrong with relighting your pipe. Um, I've been fortunate I haven't had to do any relights yet, but um, if your pipe goes out, which it happens to the most experienced pipe smoker, not a big deal. You're not losing any points with anybody. Uh, you just light it up again. So right now my pipe, I think my pipe might be up. Notice how I'm trying to do the quick puffing to see if, it's, if I can get it going, but it, it's out. Hmm? Yeah, it's out. So, when that happens, just touch it with the lighter. I took the filter out of here so I inhaled like hot ash. But it's going again. Alright, see? There we go. All right. I'll be back shortly. <laughs> All right. So now I'm done with my pipe. Uh, you know you're done or getting done or close to being finished when, at least for me, the pipe goes out a lot. Um, you can look in there and you can still see some tobacco. You can do all the things that I showed you earlier. You can tamp it down, you can light it, you can puff on it, you can tamp it, light it, but when you keep doing that more and more, uh, it's time to call it a day. So what I do, usually, uh, especially with aromatics, you're still going to have some tobacco in there that's going to look kind of goopy. Uh, that's just from all the moisture that has been uh, absorbed at the lower layers of the pipe, and it just sits there and you won't be able to light it. It's gross. It's nasty. Um, if it's non-aromatic, uh, you might be lucky and burn everything all the way down to a, a fine white ash. I'm usually not that lucky. There's usually something left over uh, when the pipe still doesn't light. So then I'll take my uh, little poker tool. I just stir it up in there, and then I dump it out. And then I'll take it, and uh, I'll kind of blow on it get out any uh, leftover uh, bits and stuff in there. And finally what I do uh, is I cover the bowl with my hand and I grab the pipe and I give it a good couple shakes towards the ground. And that helps get rid of any like leftover saliva or moisture that might be in the stem. And now it's time to uh, use a pipe cleaner and put your pipe away. So uh, I'll go back inside and show you that. Alright, so now that I'm done smoking, what I do is I come back inside if uh, I don't have a pipe cleaner, or I, I usually do this outside, but uh, you take a pipe cleaner, you, this is a necessity for all you pipe smokers, pick up a bunch of these, uh, you can never have too many pipe cleaners, and then you just run it through the stem, all the way down, and for me a sign of a good 
well-made pipe is one where the pipe cleaner can actually go all the way into the bowl. You could see it right there. Um, some pipes that are curved have uh, curved stems and stuff like that. You may not be able to get through. Doesn't mean it's not a good pipe. It's just the shape. Um, but I, I find it especially satisfying when I can slide it all the way through. And what that does is it's going to absorb uh, some of the leftover moisture that's still in the, the pipe, still in the shank. And uh, I pull it out. I run it again through the other side. Kind of go in and out. Um, pull it out. And then what I do is I bend it in half. And then I put it in the bowl. And I give it a little twist. And then dump it on your carpet. <laughs> or preferably not. But uh, in this case, this is the sacrifice I make for my YouTube subscribers. And that's it. Then you uh, go ahead and put your pipe away. All right, that's it for this video. Uh, hopefully I kind of covered everything a little bit. Uh, if you've never seen my channel before, feel free to start at the beginning of this Pipe Smokers for Beginner series and just kind of watch everything. I kind of cover a lot of these things in more detail uh, individually, but I wanted one video to kind of just show you all the way through what I do from picking the pipe, picking the tobacco, packing it, lighting it, smoking it, and finally cleaning it. So if you have any questions, uh, just feel free, uh, leave a comment. You can follow me on Instagram, it's uh, at Stogie Farts. Uh, I'm on Twitter, at Stogie Farts. Um, so you can message me all you want, uh, and I do my best to respond. That's it for now, and we will talk to you later.